winner. So, what's something that my mom and my sister Tina have in common? They're both strong women who have overcome challenges. Women all over the world have worked hard throughout history to be heard and respected. For instance, I learned in school that in 1908, thousands of women got together and marched in New York for better jobs and the right to vote. Where did that button go? And in 1983, a woman went to space. Wait, where is... Maybe it's here. And because of their bravery, we can also grow up to be anything we want to be. Astronauts, musicians, and even video game designers. So, who are the women in your life that you admire? My mom and sister Tina are pretty awesome. My mom is running for mayor, and Tina is pretty much the coolest older sister in the world. And they always support and inspire me. Speaking of support, where did that button go? Hey, you found my vote for Marine button. Thanks for keeping it safe for me. Okay, now I'm ready. Today, I'll be making super cute mimosa flower bouquets that I'll give to my mom and Tina. Why the mimosa? Well, let's get crafting and you'll find out! Did you know? That giving mimosa flower bouquets on March 8th started in Italy in 1949 by two activists, Rita Montagna and Teresa Mattei. Mimosa flowers also symbolize strength and support, which is perfect because us girls gotta have each other's backs. that in Chinese, mimosas are called happiness flowers and are used in medicines to help keep the immune system strong. Talk about a totally tubular flower! March is Women's History Month in the U.S. It's a great time to find out more about the women who inspire you. But really, any time is the right time. Wait to give these bouquets to my mom and Tina. Wait, where did Tina's bouquet go? Parsley, those flowers aren't real. To all of the incredible women out there, see you next week for more 